In this video, we will learn how to automatically create a vector trace of a rasterized image. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is download Inkscape, which you can get from their website, which is in the video description, or you can go to inkscape.org. Also, it is available from the Microsoft Store if you want to download it that way. All right, so once you have it downloaded, then what you need to do is open it. And this is what it should look like when you open it. Once you have that open, uh, find your logo and drag it in. For this case, we're going to be using the statement logo. Recenter it to wherever you want it. Inkscape can be a bit slow. It is a free program, so just bear that in mind. Okay, scale it down to the size that you want and then go up to path in the top left here and select trace bitmap. Now once we have that, uh, you'll probably have to press update to see it. We're going to use a single scan which is going to uh, create a single, it's for two colors. In this case we're using a simple logo so or a simple image so it's going to be a lot easier to trace if you have something that is like a picture of mountains or something like that, it's going to be a little bit harder and you will have to use multiple scans and uh, adjust some settings. But anyway, once you have this done, make sure to press update, you'll get an idea of what you're going to get and then this, this will work for us since we're just wanting the vector logo or the vector image of this. So then we press OK, we can close this out and we now have a vector version of this image. So we can go ahead and delete the PNG and we can use this. Now I'm going to export this and I'm going to import it into Affinity Designer so that I can use it. So the way we do that is we'd go up here to save as and select SVG, plain SVG, and then we're going to save desktop and we're going to call it state if I can spell it right, statement. Eh, it'll work if I didn't spell it right, anyway. Okay, so now that is going to save to our desktop and we can find it right here. So we're just gonna drag and drop it in there and let's go ahead and open that. All right, so now with that we have it open in Affinity Designer, we can see that we have a vectorized version of the logo. It may need some cleaning up here, but that is something that is pretty easy to do. And there you go you now have a vectored version of your image. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, then hit that like button. If you really liked it, then hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching and see you all next time.